Hey there, gamers. Welcome to the Secret Levels Podcast. I hope you got a little morpher ready, because it's morphin' time! I'm player one, Toby. And I am player two, Goose the door. Goobs a sword. Sorry, not a door. I'm not a door. I'm <laughs> wide open, though. <laughs> and we are the Secret Levels Podcast. We do a weekly retro video game review show talking about some of the best, most classic video games and some of the absolutely most garbage video games. Yeah, some dumpster fires and dog shit. But we'll touch on that shortly. <laughs> because we might have a couple of games on this week. Usually we do one game. We may be doing two. Before we jump into it, we're also part of the Somebody's Network. That's right. Go to Instagram and Twitter and follow at Somebody's Net. At S-O-M-E-B-U-D-D-I-E-S-N-E-T. Because you're never alone if you got somebody's. Whole bunch of great shows, whole bunch of great people. Reach out, touch them in whatever ways that you want. Or touch the, your earlobes and listen to them. However that works. Put something in your ears and listen. Yeah, stuff. You could have just said, let them touch your hearts and not be all weird about it. <laughs> so, uh, There's some weird people on those shows. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So let's, uh, let's talk about what this episode's about today. What, 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 are we, what are we playing today? Well, it's time to morph, Toby. Because I'm going to be morphing right now. Form of Dragon! It didn't work. <laughs> yeah, because that's like the Wonder Twins, and and I'm too far away to Wonder Twin activate with you. Yeah, and our rings are below the belts, <laughs> and they're hard to touch. <laughs> so, we are going to be talking about the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The movie! The game! <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It is the movie, the game. And we're not just talking about one movie, the game. We're talking about... You don't just get one, one, one review. You get... Two, 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 two reviews in one. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> that was supposed to be uh, like air horns, but it sounded more like a Zelda thing. <laughs> yeah, it definitely did. I thought it sounded like Final Fantasy. Bow, 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 oh, that, maybe that's bow, bow, what it was. <laughs> yeah, no, so we're going to be talking about the Sega Genesis version and the Super Nintendo version of... Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the game. It's not actually called that. We just love running with that <laughs> joke. <laughs> you know what? Everyone that, because I, I, I watched a few videos, because at first, before I realized it, I thought both games were exactly the same. And when I was doing my research on everything, that's when I was like, oh, these are two different games completely. But everyone was talking about it and saying the movie, the game. So I think that's that's where it stuck with me is everyone else making the bad Yeah, so we first started playing the Super Nintendo version. Yeah. And then uh, I was like, yeah, I'm done. He's like, I'm done it too. And then he's like, have you played the Sega Genesis version? I'm like, no, we're reviewing the Super Nintendo version. He's like, you might want to check that out. So I went and watched a quick video on it. And I'm just like, <laughs> hmm, yep, totally fucking different. Yeah, I think I messaged you at like 2 o'clock in the morning like, uh... These are two different games completely. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did. I woke up at five and just like, oh, my lover is messaging me. I, well, it must be something important. Yeah, besides the dirty pictures I sent you, I did send you, <laughs> hey, these games are different. So. I liked when you were dressed up as Trinity. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't tell people. Don't tell people. So, uh, how about we talk about when this game was re these games were released? Let's do it. So, the Super Nintendo version came out July 1995, while the Sega Genesis version didn't come out until September 1995. The Super Nintendo version was developed by Natsume, and the Sega version was developed by Sims. And then it was published by... on. Oh, this is getting confusing already. 
the publisher for this the Super Nintendo version was Bandai, and Sega published it by Sega of America. Ooh. Didn't Bam Presto have something to do with the Sega one as well? The, okay, so it, there you may be right because there may be right. I may be crazy. <laughs> there's there's a lot of uh, different versions of these games of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the game. There is a Super Nintendo version, a Sega Genesis version, a Game Gear version, and a Game Boy version. All with the same name. all different. Every one of them are different. But we're not going to talk about the Game Gear or the Game Boy ones. We're just, we're strictly sticking to the main console ones. Maybe we'll do those other two at another time. Who knows? I doubt it. (laughs) So both the Super Nintendo and the Sega versions are single or co-op. So you can have a buddy playing with you. I played them both single and both co-op. Hey. Because I had a buddy playing with me on the Sega Genesis 1. Got my little buddy Zim. All right. How'd he do? Did he do pretty good? He was getting the hang of it. He's in, he'd rather play the new Fang Daggle games that those kids are playing nowadays. Yeah, like the, the Fortnites. Them and the Fortnites and the, yeah. the Minecrafts. Yeah. And the guns in the building and the, the sugar cubes. <laughs> but uh, that's what I eat in my tea, sugar cubes. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps me fertile. But then I, then I played with my other buddy, Jenny, and we played the Super Nintendo version. And yeah, well, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> you had all kinds of family fun with these uh, two Power Ranger games. Did you play with someone or just play with yourself? <laughs> Phrasing. Uh, I played with myself. Well, you and Alpha 5? I heard <laughs> that's what you call it. <laughs> So these games are side scrolling beat 'em ups. And uh believe it or not, I know they say the movie in them and they're supposed to be based off of the the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger movie, but there's not a whole lot to do with them. The Super Nintendo one has fuck all to do with the movie <laughs> besides having Ivan Ooze in the fucking game. <laughs> well, let me let me uh just kind of give a brief summary of You fight what... bad guys from the fucking show. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Let me let me give you a brief summary of of what the story is supposed to be anyways. So Ivan Ooze has broken loose from his imprisonment and is trying to take over Angel Grove, which is the home of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Ivan has teamed up with Lord Zed and all his baddies to try to stop the Power Rangers from stopping his plans of taking over the world. The Rangers have recently gone through some changes. Tommy. Puberty. <laughs> no, they all, all the uh, Power Rangers were like in their 20s when they were in that show. Not in kayfabe world, the Power Rangers life. <laughs> so Tommy was the Green Ranger, and he has now become the White Ranger. He lost his green power and became the White Ranger. And then we also have three new rookies on the team. So they have to work together and stop Ivan Ooze. Goodbye, Zach. (laughs) I'll miss you. Uh, Zach, Jason, and uh, who else left? Billy? No, Billy stayed. Billy was uh, one of the ones. Only, yeah, I can't remember. Anyways, that's not the, the, we're not talking about the movie or the TV show. We're strictly talking these video games. Was that all all the story before I interrupted you? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that's all the story. Well, Technically, that's just the a really brief summary of what both games are. Uh, the Sega Genesis version, which we'll get to in a minute, has a lot more story. So damn right it does. The, like you were saying a minute ago, the Super Nintendo has very little to no story, with a very brief cameo of what ties it into the movie. <laughs> so it is what it is. But this game should take you an hour to an hour and a half to beat on both the Super Nintendo and the Sega. So, to play them both, you're looking about three hours. That's the length the uh, beat em up should be, in my opinion. I think so, too. I, I Two hours might be pushing it, you know? Yeah, hour to an hour and a half is a sweet spot for a game like this. Right. Because it, 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 it wears on you, let's be honest here, folks. Like, you're punching the same person different colors multiple <laughs> times over and over and over and over and over again. Right. 
sometimes they crawl on the ground and come at you all like perv like like hey what's up the skirt there <laughs> and you're like get away from me you're not gonna see my pink ranger taco and you kick them in the face and they blow up <laughs> those putties would be up to no good so real quick, uh, speedrun.com has a record of 28 minutes and 54 seconds on the Super Nintendo by a user named Nirvana Runs. But he smells like teen spirit. <laughs> well, I have a note that says that they were able to do this on normal morphless. Like they didn't morph at all throughout the game. I, I oh, think. shit. Yeah. So that's the Super Nintendo version. And on the Sega... E.T. Go Ham beat the game in 18 minutes and 26 seconds. God damn, E.T.'s nuts. Yeah, he goes ham on this he game. He does go ham on a bitch. <laughs> so, uh, how about we... Do you want to talk about the Super Nintendo one first? Because that's the one we intended to review originally. Now you're playing with power, or super power. This one's weird, though. This yes. one, This one plays a lot like Final Fight. Right? That is that a fair comparison? Yeah. I mean, a, yes. a, a low grade Final Fight. Let's let's be honest. It's a low, very low. But they've got it to where you're you can't like free roam on this. No, you cannot just walk around because you know that would be fucking hard to do on a system that does that all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah, this one you've got two different planes that you can like fight on. Like there's the high ground and the low ground. Like there's it's it's really bizarre, but you can alternate back and forth because some enemies will be on on one side of of this. Yeah, they'll be on the top or they'll be on the bottom, but the putties can jump up and down as well. Right, and and sometimes there's obstacles like in the first level, there's cars and stuff driving at you, so you yeah, have to bikes. And you have to jump over to the other, uh, the high ground. Jump to the background. Yeah, that I kept background calling foreground pretty much. Yeah, I kept calling it high ground and low ground just because uh, you know whatever, but. You either hit L or R to jump back and forth to those. And do a fancy little backflip or front flip to get to where you're going. <laughs> right. The jump animations, Jen pointed out to me, are absolutely ridiculous in this game. Yeah. When you just jump, it looks like you're doing like a bird like dance in the air. It's like, ah, your elbows go up and your knees go up. It's <laughs> like, what the hell is going on here? And this game is very similar to the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger game that was on the Super Nintendo. Well, it's it's the same as in you start off the game as a normal civilian. Like, you're not in your ranger suit yet. Yeah, you're just a normal Angel Grove teenager. Right. And you have to go around and collect. As you beat up the enemies, you collect these lightning bolts, these Power Ranger lightning bolts. and they add up very slowly. Yeah, very, very slowly. But what happens when you get a full meter? It's Morphin time! You can hit the button and you can uh, morph into the Power Ranger that you pick. And you get a choice of the six Rangers to pick from. So you can be whichever color Ranger you want at the beginning. White. <laughs> Always Tommy. Yeah. Uh, now, here's, the, here's another thing. With each character that you pick has slightly different move sets. Which yes, they do. Suck. Uh, the Yellow Ranger has the absolute worst garbage move. She does like this, like weird splits thing. Did you? Uh... <laughs> yes, I remember seeing that. Oh man! And then they have jump attacks, like, but only a few of them have a jump kick move. So the rest of them are yeah, just like jump punches. Yeah, and you just get destroyed because it doesn't ever connect. The jump kick is what you I need. I think it was a Black Ranger that does the back fist. Oh, She's I didn't like, yeah, see that one. That's a pain in the ass. The Red Ranger, I know, does the, the kick, but as soon as you morph, you lose that kick. So you can't even do it as a, the Red Ranger. You have to just <laughs> do it. When... You can only use your weapons at some times, too, when you get powered up. It's like, ah, uh, it's such a mess of it. Yeah, you can use some of the energy from the those lightning bolts to, to use, like, special attacks and stuff uh, when you're in your civilian outfit and when you're in the Power Ranger outfit. And also, when your energy is full, when you're in the Power Ranger suit, you have a clear-all attack. Yes, you do. And they're, it's actually pretty cool. I like the clear-all attacks. Yeah, it just explodes the whole... It looks like when they're fighting and all the fireworks are going off, explosions and stuff. <laughs> yeah, from the show. So you can also trigger the morph if you do not collect all the lightning bolts to, to morph beforehand. 
when you get to the the main boss of the level, you'll morph automatically. Yeah, it will morph you. So if you don't get them all, you will morph at the end of right before. If you're you... playing two player, the other person morphs with you. Yeah. So there's no need to fight over getting the little lightning bolts before the other person because just let one person get it so you can morph more faster. Yeah, which it, you could still get them because you can still use the special attack if needed. But there's not really there's there's really not that much to the buttons. Like it's basically they don't even use A, I think. Is A the one that's just there? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you 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 can punch, you can jump and foreground, background. Yeah, it's it's pretty simple. You can you can press down and, and morph. Yeah. You can hold down and kick. You can hold up and and use your attack and he'll they'll do like an uppercut type move. Finish him. <laughs> But yeah, they I mean there's not a lot to the attacks or anything. Yeah, and the level design, you're just going through simple shit. You're going through town, then you're going through a mall, then you're on a train at some point. Then you're No, that's the Yeah, no, you're, no, you're the, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's the Super Nintendo one. Yeah, you're Yeah, you're, you're, you're on, on a, train. a snowboard. The snowboarding one reminded me a lot of like the Battletoads levels or the Ninja Turtles when you're like you're on something that's going fast. <laughs> and yeah. it's like, oh, look, there's a hole in the ground. Yeah, and then there's also a surfing level <laughs> for whatever reason. And, uh, yeah, here's one of the downsides. We're going to have to point this out right now before we get to the Sega one. There is no Megazord battles in this game. There is in the previous Super Nintendo game, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for Super Nintendo, but not this one. <laughs> That's like having a tuna sandwich with no mayonnaise, man. It's like, what the fuck? The, what's the fucking point? <laughs> yeah. Or pizza without cheese, or like all those without pimentos. Things I all love. It's just <laughs> it's spaghetti what, without the, the sauce. I fucking actually hate spaghetti. Oh, <laughs> it's like connect without the four. <laughs> That's the saddest game of connect I've ever seen. They just keep dropping them. <laughs> <laughs> I win. I dropped one. Oh, by myself. <laughs> but yeah, you need you need a fucking Megazord battle in there. There's a whole game based on Megazord battles. Yeah, yeah. Power Rangers fighting game. It's it's pretty crazy that they just didn't include that. But it was in the previous game. There's or the no... story of the movie. <laughs> yeah. So there's only seven levels total for this game, which. Six actual levels with boss battles at the end, and then the seventh level is just the the battle with Ivan Ooze. So, as far as I know, I think all the bosses, like I said, are all recycled from the TV show. Most of them are. Uh, there's uh, this is dipping into my very little amount of fun facts, but five of them are from the TV show, uh, season two, I believe. One is a uh, character made just for the game. And then Ivan Ooze is from the, the movie, obviously. Which one was made just for the game? The one right before Ivan Ooze. Okay. I can't remember who it was. The dragon guy? Possibly. I played a lot of Power Rangers in the past few days. <laughs> Me too. That's why I was just saying possibly. So since we did play a lot of Power Rangers, let's move on to the Sega. Let's talk about the Sega version. Do you have any more you want to talk about on the Super Nintendo version? Uh, Gameplay-wise, no. It's... It's a beat up you go through. You can jump foreground, background. You punch putties a lot. They keep coming at you. You keep punching them. You dodge cars. You dodge rocks. You dodge caverns. You fight Ivan Ooze. Save Angel, Angel Grove. That's right. That's the game. That's the game. So Sega. Sega! So the Sega version has a lot more story points. It explains why some of the Rangers have left and why some have been replaced with rookies. It follows... Right away you get a big story. Just like right then, it's just like, yeah, I can dig this. Yeah. I know what's going on now. Right. It it follows the movie a lot more, but they also add a couple of scenes that aren't in the movie or TV show just to make their story go along. And that's fine. At least there's a story. Yeah. Here's one point, though, that I got to give to the Super Nintendo. There's not any cutscenes really, throughout the game, but at least the cutscenes that are there, like, they're animated. Because in the Sega one, it's all basically just a, a picture with dialogue. So, and Sega was very capable of, 
you know, moving cutscenes. So I don't know why we didn't get something cool with Sega. Uh, well, at least we got Megazord battles. Yes, yes. This this one does have the Megazord battles. At the end of each level, when you fight the boss, you then turn around and fight the big boss. Like, he grows, like in the TV show. And you, you get your Megazord. You get to pick which Megazord you want out of two, usually. And yeah, the Falcon or the Ninja Zord. Yep. And then you do battle, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Falcon's fun. You shoot fucking missiles and guns and grab them and throw them around. <laughs> so this game plays a lot like Streets of Rage. I think that's what I messaged you is like, holy crap, this one's like Streets of Rage. Yeah, that's where I got really excited until I actually started the game up. I said like. <laughs> I didn't say it's it's a good Streets of Rage copy. Streets of Rage when you're fighting the same enemy for the whole level. Holy crap, that first level, you just fight the, the putty guys. The, the purple no, putty Oozman. guys. The Oozmen, that's right, that's what they are. They are annoying, and it seems like it takes forever to kill them. And it, it takes about five to six hits. It it seems like they they you move just like an inch on the screen and then it locks you again and then you have to fight more. It's ridiculous how many you have to fight. Yeah, this game is all about letting you walk forward a bit, stop, you fight like fucking a wave of these guys, move forward a little bit, another wave of the ooze men, and continue, rinse, and repeat. Right. But you don't have to switch back and forth from the foreground to the background. Like, you can move No, and I really want. appreciate that. Yes. Like Streets of Rage, this has a special attack that takes away from your health, but all all the rangers in this game have the exact same like spin kick thing that it does, and it yeah. takes away some health. But each ranger does have a unique, like when you hold, is it B? You hold down B and it'll charge up. Yeah, you hold down the punch. And you can use your weapon. Yes, you get to use your weapon. You charge it. And you can also do the... The double run forward and the user weapon that way you can lunge at them. Yes, yes. So th there's a couple of things you can do. You can do. run in this game. Yeah. Holy shit. Innovation. Yeah. So there's there's already a lot of gameplay differences in these games. It's fucking night and day, man. It's two different games totally. One's a little more superior than the other one, but not by much. <laughs> so there is a downfall to this version. There is a time limit Yes, the dreaded, dreaded time limit. When that time limit runs out, it starts draining your health, which sucks. Like this game is run by Jigsaw. <laughs> you are a teenager with superpowers, but <laughs> you only have 90 seconds to kill all these Usman before your life starts going out as well. <laughs> uh, some of the levels, you have to find hidden paths and break them. There's the this level with the cave. You go into this cave, and I seriously had no idea where to go. I just sat there, and I thought I was screen locked to where I couldn't walk any further forward. And I sat <laughs> that there. Sometimes happens. Yeah, and I sat there for like five minutes, beating up the the putty men. Luckily, I kept getting the the coins because you get these coins that'll give you health and uh, points to give you extra lives. Yeah. And but so luckily, I, I kept getting the ones that kept giving me life because the time had ran out for a long time. But my once I finally died, I was like, there's got to be something here because I can walk around this entire area and you have to break. <laughs> there's there's these rock caves that you have to break the entrance out from and you would have never known. There's no hint at it or anything. You just have to find it. And it's bizarre. So you, you got to kind of pay attention to what's going on on the actual level itself. The, 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 the well, Toby, come on. As a seasoned gamer, you should know to always punch every rock that you see. <laughs> Could be a piece of turkey behind it. Come I on. thought it was the background. I seriously. Little wall meat. <laughs> Which is funny because in the uh, Super Nintendo uh, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger game, that's what their health is, is a big chicken leg looking thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I think yeah, I got no. a cheeseburger at one point. Yeah, the cheeseburger's in the Super Nintendo, the movie, the game, right? Or is it this yes. one? See, I've I've had too no, much it's in Power the movie Rangers. The game. <laughs> but uh yeah, so those rocks are not the background. You have to hit those to progress if you play this. And like I said, you you get the coins and everything. What else about the gameplay on this one? Uh, it's just your typical Sega beat 'em up, just pretty much like Street Rage, dollar store version. Yep. 
That's that's what yeah, I would you say. You go through, you fight the bad guys, it, but it's more in tune to the movie. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's it still plays off of the TV show, but it does play a lot more into the movies. <laughs> and I really like, like it gets extra points for having a story. Yeah, no shit. Because even though it's like back in the day, like Nintendo games, Super Nintendo, everything like that, they some of them don't have stories. They're some of the greatest games we ever played in our life. Like Street Fighter doesn't start off with a story mode. You just go in there and you kick each other's ass, and it's one of the greatest games ever made. Yeah, but if but, you, like if you're claiming well, that you're Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, you'd expect movie elements from the damn game. This seems like our generation's ET. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I see it for Atari. <laughs> we got this movie coming out, guys. Okay, we 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 need to make this. We need to capitalize on this Bandai. We got this great movie coming out, Rangers. You know, Oozman and the fucking ooze and all that stuff. Let's make a game. Okay, <laughs> let's sell it to the cheapest person ever, and then they make this game. Oh, it's brilliant. He's in there. Ivan Ooze. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Let's go. It's like it's almost like an afterthought. Like they they did the the six levels for the Super Nintendo version and then they were like, "Oh, fuck, we can't call this the movie if we don't have the main villain in it." So they were like, ah. I honestly in my mind, they made this as a second Power Rangers game like the sequel to the first one. Right. And then just and then added in at like, the end. Yeah, it's like, "Oh shit, we got this movie coming out, guys." Yeah, no, great. Great idea. Ivan Ooze. <laughs> that's what it feels like now like we said the sega one does feel like they were like hey we know this movie's coming out we we want to make sure it's done right so i don't know it's it's bizarre to two games with the same title coming out by lots of different developers but only one of them really got the story down i don't yeah. know it's, it's how the bizarre. fuck does a cluster fuck like this happen like right right someone at at like the Someone had to approve, yeah, 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 Super Nintendo, you can make a game. Yeah, 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 Sega, yeah, well, you can make a different game if you want. Yeah, do what you want. Like, someone had to, like, say yes to all these different things. <laughs> yeah, they're probably on a lot of cocaine <laughs> on that sword on dust. With that Alpha 5, they're like, ay, 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 yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, so let's uh, let's touch on some of the music for this game, for these games. Aw, do we have to? Okay, so I want to start with the Super Nintendo music. I think it was pretty good. I think... Really? I think that some of the songs, not all, could be worth... There was a couple bangers. There's a couple that could be Mega Man X worthy. Like, they could have been on a... Whoa. Yeah. (laughs) There's a couple. Just a few. I'm not saying all of them. Whoa, pump your brakes there, buddy. <laughs> this is the Whoa. Super Nintendo version. They could have been... Are you been... rating this game a fucking nine? No. <laughs> no, sir, I am not. But I'm just saying, there's a couple of songs that I'm like, if this was on a Mega Man X game, I would have never realized, like, oh, yeah, this came from a Power Ranger game. Like, I would have just been like, huh, that's not a bad song. So, that, that's how where I sit with it. How do you... What? How do you feel? Because it's a lot of it's like very rock based. Oh yeah, it's very upbeat. Like to keep with the whole theme song of the game, and you hear that, and that's like I love the theme song. Who doesn't? Just hear that great riff going. Lots of fun. But uh, yeah, I don't know. The music didn't really stick with me too much. I enjoyed personally. I enjoyed the Sega music better. They had that deep bass going on in some of the tracks and. I really enjoyed that much more. I don't know, the Super Nintendo one didn't really bring it as much as it did for you. The, see, the Sega one was rough to me. Like, I didn't enjoy the Sega one as much. I thought Maybe the, because the story just got me more hyped. I was like, okay, I can deal with this shitty music as a story. I feel like the Sega one, you couldn't really differentiate... Differentiate... Can't say it. Differentiate. Differentiate. Why am I fucking up now? <laughs> Fuck you! I thought you're. <laughs> Anyways, you can't, you can't hear the different pitches. Like there's, there's something about it that just sounds like. Oh, you're tone deaf. I don't know. It just sounds like someone just like put their hand on the keyboard at some parts, and you're like, and you can tell they're trying to play other parts with their other hand, but you can't hear because they just smashed. I don't know. They just smashed the keys down, and you're like, what's going on here? Why does it sound terrible? 
I don't know. I didn't find that at all. I found the music great and fun. I asked him if he liked the music. He said it was great. Really? See, oh man, maybe maybe I'll have to go back and, and listen just to because I only. So here's here's the other thing. Let me let me add this real quick. I've played Power Rangers, the movie for Super Nintendo, a lot. I've owned it since I was a kid. I still have my original copy up on my shelf right now. Oh, here comes that nostalgia bug. But but I don't think. So I've heard that music a lot more. Also, this was my first playthrough for the Genesis version, and I played it all the way through, and then I played the first stage again just to make sure, you know, I had everything that I wanted, note-wise for it. And I was just like, eh, that music's just not doing anything for me. So I, that's fair. That's your opinion. It sucks, but that's your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Pages are like assholes. Everyone has one. Everyone has two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, player one and player two. <laughs> I, was, I think it's the first time when like we disagreed on something. I know, a, I know. It, it, it's a, it's on two things technically, since it's Super Nintendo and the Sega version. We're both like eh, opposites. This is going to be an interesting one to rate here in a minute. So, uh, which character did you say you like to play with? Oh, I like to play with Tommy. Yeah, I was I'm I'm I was always Tommy as well. Either that or the Red Ranger. Uh, well, he was like the most badass character growing up. Like watching, I was a little older to be watching Power Rangers, but fuck it, I watched Power Rangers when I was like twelve or thirteen when it came out. Power Rangers was my age perfectly. I I got sucked in. I was a hardcore Power Rangers kid, so it was perfect. I blamed it on my little brother likes it. <laughs> Let alone I'm tuning in every time. Right. I I always played with either Tommy um or the Red Ranger, Rocky in these games. Uh Rocky they, loves Emily. <laughs> because well, I liked Rocky because he's Oh, got, we got to play three ninjas one time. Oh yeah. Anyways. That'd, that'd be good. Yeah. But no, uh Rocky had the uh the jump kick in the Super Nintendo version. That's why I would play as him because when you're a civilian, you can do the little jump kick, and it's it's very helpful. It is very, very, very much helpful. Uh, what's what? What do you think is the worst part of both of these games? Uh, the music on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're gonna fight the, right the now. Jumping back and forth. Yeah, jumping back and forth. I think is gonna be what loses it. Absolutely points. terrible. And then the stopping and repetitive nature of the Sega one. Just yeah. The, they just, don't have just enough. Fuck off with that. Just let you go. <laughs> they just... don't. Ha they don't have enough uh, uh, characters. Like Streets of Rage, there's at least like I know they do palette swaps on the. There's like four or five different sprites that can come at you at a time. Yeah. This one, you, you get one all the time, and it's, it's like, not even. There's. On. It's the same colors every single time too. It's not. There's no color swaps or anything. So yeah. Well, color swaps like normally means they do something different, like in the Turtles games. Like, Streets of Rage, not really, but, like, you expect some sort of different thing to break up the boringness of the game, and but it doesn't really happen. Yeah, you get you get Putty or the Oozman. Fucking Oozman. <laughs> Sounds like a baseball player. <laughs> now, coming to the bad. Oozman. <laughs> what do you think of the graphics on both of these games? Which, which one do you think was better? Which one looks better to you? I prefer the graphics on the Genesis. I know I'm normally a Nintendo guy. But but uh, Sega does what Nintendo can't. <laughs> See, I like or what Nintendo don't. Sorry, damn it, I fucked up the quote. For you. What Nintendo? You you almost had it right. You were close. <laughs> Thanks, Oak. I don't know. I like the animation of them in the costumes much better. The Rangers look more like the Rangers to me on the Sega Genesis version. Yeah, I like the Super Nintendo look, but. They do gain like twenty pounds of muscle out of nowhere. <laughs> even even the chicks in in the game gain twenty pounds of muscle. Like they don't have boobs or anything like to show that they're a and woman. I found the civilian characters are really muddy. Yeah, nah, I, I don't. I think they're just funny looking because like, uh, Billy has the big overalls on. So I, I, I know we're talking sixteen bit graphics here, but. I'm I'm being extremely picky. We're reviewing two different games here. <laughs> I I mean, if I'm gonna have to pick one though, I think I'm gonna go with the looks and the sound of the Super Nintendo. But I wish it played like the Sega and had the story of the Sega. That's that's my perfect Power Ranger the movie game. Whoa, whoa. 
can't be Lizzie McGuire here and have the best of both worlds, but <laughs> Well, that's what I'm just saying. If I had to pick I don't and know choose... where the fuck I pulled that reference from, but <laughs> <laughs> I have a little sister that watched it. Yeah, sure you did. We just heard about how you were uh, you'd blame watching Power Rangers on other people. What would be the best parts of each game that you would grab to smash into one good game? Well, I think you just covered it besides the music on the other one. <laughs> you want the music from the Sega. Yeah. I got and you. And the sprites from... Well, no. just I just want the Sega one. Yeah, I don't see. even want the Super Nintendo one. <laughs> there, there's... Well, I'll, I'll take the snowboarding level. That was cool. <laughs> the, yeah, the snowboarding level was kind of fun. We'll throw that into this game. like, But you can, like, instead of jumping back and forth, you can move around on the level. Innovation! <laughs> um... How about I give you some fun facts real quick? I only have a few, so we'll get through them pretty quick. It's time for Morphin Facts with Toby! (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so the first fun fact I have is PriceCharting.com is showing the Super Nintendo game to be around $20 to $27 loose and around $80 to $90 closed (laughs) in box. (laughs) Don't waste your money, folks. I, you know what? When I saw that it said twenty twenty dollars, not bad, but like eighty something, just like well, that's for the to box. Me, this game is worth ten dollars. You know what? I wouldn't pay more than ten dollars for this game. Uh, it, Straight up. When I saw that it was a, it was worth like twenty twenty five, I was like, wow, <laughs> that's nuts. But the Sega Genesis version is around eight dollars loose and around twenty five dollars with the box and the manual. See. There you go, folks. Get that one. Better <laughs> music, better graphics. Cheaper. Cheaper. Better all around. Zord fights. That's what that fucking Super Nintendo game is missing as well. Zord yeah, fights. Yeah, it's definitely missing the Zord fights. Two players versus one boss is fucking fun. Yeah. Kids just punch them in the face and you're shooting missiles. Great time. Yeah, that's right. You can play as a... You, one of you gets to be the actual Zord and then one gets to be the uh, the Falcon thing, right? Falcon Punch. <laughs> so you get to double team all the, the, the baddies. Yes. Nothing like double teaming a baddie with your son. <laughs> <laughs> so in the Super Nintendo version, there is only six available characters that you can play as, while there are nine in the Sega version because you can play as the original three Rangers. You, there's a flashback scene and you can actually pick from like Jason and the other two that ended up leaving as along with Zach is back. Yeah, you get to Zach is back instead of back in black. <laughs> but here's the funny thing. They didn't have the voice act they didn't have the actors for for the original three that left the show. So the new actors actually did the voices for their characters because there are some actual uh sound clips of them saying it's morphin' time and stuff like that. In the the Sega version. Ah. Yeah. So it's not actually them saying it when you're Jason or one of the other two. Because in the Super Nintendo version, like every time you use a special, you, you see them whip up the Morpher and it's like, it's Morpher time. Yeah. Yeah. It, and you get some shitty graphics and they hey, turn I like, into Hey, I like those graphics. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, you probably like the entrances from WWF Attitude. <laughs> Uh, the Super Nintendo, there is a power-up code at the title screen. If you press up, down, left, right, X, B, Y, A, this will start you already morphed. You don't have to to get all the power-ups, so you can start the game morphed and ready to go. I totally used that. Did you? <laughs> cheater. <laughs> Fuck, the only Mr. Safe State called me a cheater. <laughs> Fuck you, bud. I did use some save states on the Super Nintendo version. That one was a hard You bitch. have to. The game is fucking hard for no reason whatsoever. Yeah. And, like, you get damaged by pretty much everything. A sign falls off the thing in the mall. Oh, look, I'm dead. <laughs> you fall down a hole. You lose all your health. And, like, that should happen. But in a game as unforgiving as this is with your health, it's like, come the fuck on. Throw me a bone here. Yeah. That and w- when you're playing two-player, which I was, and I love my wife, and, like, she felt bad after because she didn't know she's using all the continues up. I didn't say nothing because I'm a good husband. But then I'm like, I only died once and there's no continues left right now. 
And she's like, why don't you just play again by yourself? I'm like, no, nah, I, don't, I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was Aww. like our second playthrough together. But, you know, shit happens, right? Yeah. Um, it- Still love you, Jenny. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to the bean. So, so do I. So do I. <laughs> so, in the Super Nintendo version, the Pink Ranger is missing her skirt. But she ha- mm-hmm. she has it in the Sega version. She, like I said, it's just a palette swap on the the Rangers and the Super Nintendo, and they they're all buff. You can't tell who's female or who's male. So it's no, a- they're all just different colored. Yeah, basically. So that's it for my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, the game, fun facts. Thanks for enlightening us, Zordon. <laughs> you know what time it is now? It's time to rage. Oh, come on! Ah! This is our patented rage meter. This is a 1 to 10 scale of how pissed off this game makes you, and in this case, games. How rage induced. Did it make us want to eat our own shit? <laughs> it's. St- Golly. Yo, how mad do you have to be for that? That's pretty a, mad. That's, a, that's, a, that's tipping the scales way off of. <laughs> That's- Minus five. Comp, comp, comp. So, um, which one do we want to start with? Super Nintendo or Sega? We just fucking lump them together. <laughs> no, they have to have their own individual rages. <sighs> gotta do two? <laughs> yeah, you gotta be mad for a minute now. So, oh, man. I'll go first. I'm gonna go with the Super Nintendo first, okay? I'm giving this one a seven on the rage meter because it is so unforgiving. Yes, it is. Flipping back and forth is a, a fucking nightmare. It's so annoying. It's easier with two players, man. You get one on top, one on the bottom, and everyone has fun in the end. Hey! <laughs> it just... Uh, it, it just gets so unnecessarily hard at one point. Like, after level four, it, like I said, I had to use save states. And then, when you beat the damn game on normal... It's at the very end. It says, "Hey, for a secret code in our next video game, play it on hard." And and it's a code for the uh, the one of the fighting Mighty Morphin Power Rangers fighting games. I don't remember what the code is, but you play it again on hard, and that's all it is. So I'm giving the Super Nintendo version a seven because it is frustrating. Some of the mechanics are very frustrating. It's kind of slow paced because you can't run or anything. Uh, seven, seven. I'm staying with it. I was gonna go up, but I'm gonna stick with the seven on this one. <laughs> what do you What do you got on the Super Nintendo? Feel the Feel the hate, Toby. <laughs> Let the hate feel run the through rage. your face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give this a uh, six. Wasn't uh, it's frustrating, but. The thing that pissed me off the most is no Zords, no story. Yeah, I, need, I, to, I need to add that into on this. I'm going to 7.5 just because you're right. No <laughs> Zords, no Zords. Motherfuckers. Yeah, you, you die a lot in this game. Yeah. And you don't have very but many continues or lives. Well, especially if you're playing with a player, too. <laughs> <laughs> Still love you, honey. You're in trouble now. <laughs> just being I know you honest. Are. <laughs> I'm being honest. Just being honest. I'm allowed to be honest, right? I'm Canadian citizen. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it is what it is. Graphics aren't the greatest, in my opinion. They're they're good, but not the greatest. I understand it's a beat 'em up, but I've played tons of great beat 'em ups on both systems. And uh, music lackluster, to be honest. Maybe a couple tracks I go back and listen to. Trolls, we didn't really touch on them. Well, we did a little bit, but they're fine. Not really that tight. I I don't don't know. They're fine enough. Uh, I didn't have any complaints with the controls. They're good enough to play, but when you're trying to do some full time jumps, I had it fucked up on me a couple times and didn't appreciate that. (laughs) So I'll just stick with my six. Well, for the Sega version, I'm only going to give it a four. Uh, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to say a five because I (laughs) get annoyed with. Getting locked on the screen. Everyone, put, place your bets now. Does it go up or down? What's the over under here? <laughs> it, it always changes. I, I get annoyed with the the screen locked and having to fight the same enemies over and over. There's no 
there's just no change to it. it it's the same it's either a putty man or an ooze man or a bad guy you're not really fighting anything else other than those three things so it they could have added a little more i don't know what exactly but anything would have been better so the sword battle oh they got sword battles so that's why they're only saying i'm gonna give it a 4.5 oh no shit sorry I'm so i'm so confused about fucking power rangers man <laughs> <laughs> We're on the Sega one, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna. I, I went back down to four point five because they do have Zord battles, and uh, that that makes me a little bit happy. Content. Yeah, okay. those battles are fun. So what do you what do you give it for the rage meter on the Sega? I'll join you at a comfy four point five. Okay. Anything? Anything? My more? my seven year old breezed through this game very easily and had no issue with it whatsoever. So I do think the difficulty is a lot easier on the Sega version. Except well, fuck yeah, it is. Except There's when not you get like to, crazy jumps and stuff. Right. Except when you get to Ivan Ooze, who is a bastard. <laughs> He's a very he'll grab you and and just take your health away. <laughs> So watch out for that if you get to the last level. But he's gonna put his oozy hands all over you. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, like I said, four point five. The, the rock thing sucked, but that wasn't that bad. It just frustrated me for a second. Dude, you didn't smell what the rocks were cooking. <laughs> well, an exit to the level. <laughs> yeah, next that I missed. Damn it. Anyways. Now let's move on to the part of the show where we rate these games on how much we enjoyed them or hated them on a 1 to 10 scale, 10 being that we loved it, 1 being that we wanted to bury it in the backyard and piss on it. Yeah, piss on it indeed. (laughs) Hit that music. So, um, Super Nintendo first, what are you going to give the Super Nintendo rating uh, I'll give it a 4.5. 4.5? Man. It wasn't really that high on this game. Okay. It, if I was high while playing this game, it would have been a lot better. Yeah, yeah, I can could, I could understand that. It was fun to play with a friend. It's up here. It's legal up here in Canada, as you guys know. I can talk about it all at once. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> You're not the boss of me. <laughs> yeah, no one's knocking on my door. <laughs> Unless there's a guy like, hey, man, you got some? <laughs> like, no, Steve's not home, man. <laughs> But yeah, it's, I'd rather just talk about anything else and then review this game, <laughs> as you can tell throughout this episode. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's I don't know. It's fun for a beat up to pick up and play for an hour, but there's so many other greater ones that I much rather play. And I've already listed before the reasons I don't like about this game, the music and everything like that. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with my rating. Hmm. So you said a four point five? Yes, I did, sir. I'm going to give the Super Nintendo version a 5. I like the... <laughs> You're looking down on me for a 4.5. Uh, no, I wasn't looking higher. down. I w- You're like, hmm. <laughs> no, I, I was just... I was. I wanted to hear everything. So I'm giving it a 5 because I do believe the other Super Nintendo game, the one that came out previous to this one, that's Way just, better. It's way better. You get, you get Megazord battles. Uh, it, I don't know. There's just a lot more to it. You don't have to do the stupid up and down. They got fucking lazy on this and sold it because of fucking movies coming out. Let's be honest here. Yeah. That's they, exactly what happened with this game. Oh, we got a license. Sell it. Yeah. I think they tried something new with the foreground and background thing, and I don't think it, it translated right to a video game. I think it that was... That revoli- revolutionized the gaming industry? Do we see that nowadays? No. Does Mega Man jump back and forth? Uh, you know what? And I've never seen it in any other game either. I don't think. I might be completely wrong, but if if it isn't another game, it probably wasn't a very popular game. So, I- I'm giving it a five. I like the music. I do like the look of the game. I, I don't think that it plays terrible. I... If you can find it for a couple of bucks, it's definitely worth a playthrough. Just yeah, screw do around. not pay twenty five or eighty in box for this game. No, no, I would not suggest paying that much. But it, if you find it at a garage sale for five bucks, yeah, it's totally worth a five bucks waste an hour to play and then put it on yourself and never look at it again. I like I said, I prefer the other Super Nintendo version. So five, it could have been better. It could have been really good. They just. Uh, Drop the ball on this one. What what do you got for the Sega version? 6.5. 6.5. 6. <laughs> Explain yourself. 
Well, you got you got a story. Like I've already explained myself throughout this whole episode. You got the story. I enjoy the music a bit little more than I did in the Super Nintendo. The controls are good. I like how you're a ranger the whole fucking time. You don't have to worry about morphing. I know morphing's a big part. Like they always go, like, "Oh, hey, we're we're in trouble right now. It's time to morph. Putties are attacking us." But you know what? Everyone wants to, you know, skip the cheese. Let's get right to the fucking meat. Fuck the vegetables and stuff too, because who <laughs> likes that shit? Let's just get right to it, man. Just give me the meat. I want to be a ranger. I want to go in there. I want to smash stuff with my saber and just kill putties all day long or oozman. And that's what you do in this game. Repetitive, yes. It really gets to you on that. Oh, it's going to make me go down to a 5.5. But, um, <laughs> yeah, the repetitive nature of this game. But then, you know what? Then you hit that sweet spot. You get those Zord battles. So that's going to raise me back up. Like a phoenix to a six. And that's where I'm going to stay on this. Oh, the cream of the crop, Elizabeth. I am also going to give this game a six. I I don't necessarily... You always make me feel bad if I'm raiding. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck's going on? Did you raid the same thing. I just want to... I'm, I'm adding uh, drama to the show. Duh. Okay, fucking Scorsese. <laughs> so... My reasoning, though, is uh, I don't necessarily think this game looks better than the Super Nintendo version, but I think overall the gameplay is better. I think it's it's a more fun... You should play with one of your kids, man. It's a lot of fun. It's pretty easy for them to get through. Right. It, it's it's a more fun game for two players, or for co-op. And, and I think... Very it, casual. I think it's really great that even the the... Megazord battles at the at the end of the boss after the boss fight, you both get to be a Megazord. It's not like, oh, well, one of us has to sit here and watch the other one. Who wants to do it? You know, it's you both are like tag team this bitch. So I think <laughs> they they incorporated two player very well with this. They didn't do something stupid with the foreground and the background. The the only th- really big thing about this is the don't say the fucking music. I'll hit you. <laughs> well, I wasn't a fan of the music, but I don't think it was that terrible to like put a negative mark on it. I, I think that the the just there's not enough variety in the enemies, and there's a couple of spots. That's where, definitely the like this game would have got much higher if it had that. If they would have had less enemies throughout each level and added one more level, I'd have been that would have been the best scenario, you know. You know what would have been good? You fight a couple, then you fight a sub-boss. Sure, it shouldn't have been from the movie, but you could have got one from the TV show. There's all sorts of fucking monsters that they fought. So you fight a guy, he's a little weaker than the main boss, but you fight him. Because you know how they always, halfway through an episode, they would fight just a guy just on their own, just as a ranger before they go up into monster mode, or whatever the fuck, make my monster grow, (laughs) before they get the zords and everything, and so... I'm just rambling on right now, but I feel like they need something in between before the big Zord battle. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that you're. I think you were right a minute ago about them needing like the uh, the snowboarding or the surfing level. I think that would have been a lot of fun to add in there because that's. It feels like just a, to break it up. Yeah, it feels like a in the Super Nintendo one. It feels sort of like a Turtles in Time kind of moment you know how they surf and stuff in those in the ninja turtle games it, yes it, it feels like that but it's not like that at all and i think it would have translated awesomely to this game you know like a battle toads kind of level like you were saying earlier i think i think it would have worked out really well but they didn't do that so there there could have been more to this sega game so i'm sticking with a six just because there could have been more. It could have been a great game. It had story. It had story from the TV show. It had story from the movie. Uh, it was it was pretty good. I mean, story-wise. Put your hands up, because Sega wins. <laughs> Sega wins this round. Please brief what Nintendo Finish him. All right, so we are wrapping up this episode, and uh, we've got other shows that we both do. Goops. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of shit, so hold on tight, folks, because here we go. Oh, Should have done like Joker. Here we go. 
<laughs> Do you want to tell us about your other shows, Goobs? I would love to, Toby. Go check out The Derailers. Find them on Twitter, at The Derailers. And it's a wonderful show that I do with my best friend, Ripken, and my wonderful wife, Jenny Bean, who they've both been on the show multiple times. So you know what? You know them right now. They're a part of your heart. So come be a part of all three of our hearts and listen to The Derailers. Jump on our train every week and listen to us talk about absolutely everything and nothing at the same time. It is a lot of fun. Who knows what we're going to be talking about? We don't, and it's going to be a lot of fun. You can also go to YouTube and check out Derailed Wrestling. That's Derailed Wrestling, W-R-A-S-S-L-I-N. Go check that out. Me and Ripken make a whole bunch of wrestling characters, put them all in one ring together, do the commentary, which is decent at best. I know Toby loves that line. <laughs> I do. And we have the best roster that anyone's ever seen, and the action that is so action-packed you cannot fit that into a can of sardines. Go check it out, folks. And Toby, what about you, brother? I do the Secret Transmission podcast where we take a satire look on all things strange and spooky and weird like conspiracies cryptozoology the supernatural ufos and all kinds of other stuff lots and lots of stuff you can find us on all the major podcasting platforms and you can find us on twitter and instagram at secret transpod that sounds excellent what about this show toby well this show you can also find on instagram and twitter at Secret Levels Pod. You can also follow us on Facebook. We have a page. And we also have a Facebook group called Secret Levels Group. And you can chit-chat video games. Show us what you've recently found. Uh, some, some video game pickups. If you're a collector, just join our group. Talk with us. Bullshit about video games. Just have fun. Yeah. That's what we're all about. Having fun. If you want to have even more fun. Hey, Toby. Yeah. What kind of people have the most fun? Well, people that are wearing a Secret Levels t-shirt. <laughs> Boy, gosh darn it, you are correct. And if you want to get one of those, you can go to www.tpublic.com slash user slash Secret Levels and get one of our amazing, amazing design t-shirts by our one and only Toby. Yo. And put them on your body and everyone will be jealous of you because like, damn, you look good right now. Not your face, that t-shirt. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> and you can tell them you went to www.tpublic.com slash user slash secret levels. God damn, I'm cracking myself up right now. Hey, hey I, now, I know you said that, you know, the person wearing it's not attractive, but I've heard statistics say that secret levels listeners are 10 times more attractive than the the average person. So you can really show that off by wearing a secret level shirt to prove that you're a listener and that you're 10 times more attractive. Oh, I'm not saying that you weren't attractive before, <laughs> but you're way more attractive if you have this shirt <laughs> that's on. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and you know what? What? Everyone look at you and be like, wow, there's a unicorn right there. That's fucking magnificent looking. <laughs> Holy crap, man! Did you see Zachariah do a flip? Oh man, that was the most amazing birthday present ever! He did it right off the swing! It was great! Didn't break his legs or nothing! That's what you got for your birthday? I got I got the new Super Nintendo Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the game. Oh, it's your birthday too? No, I'm saying that flip was just an extra special present that I got on my birthday. I got the Sega Genesis version of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the game. And holy, let me tell you, when I first got to that Megazord battle, whoa, my mind was blown! Wait a minute. What Megazord battle? You never played a Megazord battle? No, no. You can't has to have the Megazord battle. You're playing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the game, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, the one where you flip from, like, the foreground to the background? Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, and you have to collect... No, 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 you have to collect you all the, the lightning bolts. You free roam and walk around. No, no. Lightning bolts? Yeah. What are you talking about lightning bolts? You get to morph, you're, you're, you're just a, a person, and then you get to morph into the rangers. Uh, that sounds pretty lame. You start off as a ranger in my game, and you get to have big zord battles afterwards. Absolutely epic zord battles. What? What? Yeah, you're playing the wrong game. I, I think your parents bought you the discount version of that game. Oh, my parents, they don't love me, I guess. Game over, folks. Game over.